Welcome to part two of this Munch Report in Taiwan Challenge, showing you 20 things to eat in 24 hours. If you missed part one, there's a link down below in the description. This challenge will follow a fairly convenient route throughout Taipei to make eating 20 things possible, MRT accessible, and all within the allocated time frame. So let's continue. All right, we are here at Gongguan MRT, which is near National Taiwan University, or Taida, to have our next set of food. I think we're looking for exit number four. Let's go. All right, so we're here at the Gongguan MRT station, also National Taiwan University, or Taida. We came to exit four. Come on up, go straight, and then you're gonna turn left at about the second alley. Let's go. All right, so here we are for some pearl milk. And usually this place has a huge line. I'm just gonna get that number one item. Chinwa Zhuang Nai, which is just pearl milk, cold. Pearls here are so good. So to go with our pearl milk, let's get a Gua Bao. Kind of like a Taiwanese burger. <laughs> All right, take a look at that guapo. Some people call it a Taiwanese burger. So inside, I ordered the half fatty, half lean. So there's both lean meat and both fatty pork belly meat. There's these stewed pickled vegetables, some cilantro, some peanut powder and sugar. Pretty good size, 60 NT dollars. It looks closer to me like a taco than a burger. Here we are in Gongguan, item number 10. Mmm. That bun. So nice and soft. And it soaks up all of the flavor from the stewed meat. Oh, so when I bite into it, I get a taste of everything. Salty, fatty meat. That pickled vegetable has a little bitterness to it. And the peanut powder and sugar give it some sweetness all in this nice, soft, almost like a cloud of a bun. Mm. So you can also order it more on the fatty side or more on the lean side. I say go for more fatty, because that fatty pork really just melts in your mouth also. It has so much flavor. Oh, I could probably eat four or five of these, I think. So good. Mm -mm. Item number 11, pearl milk. Look at that brown sugar tapioca settling into the milk. So I know most people are familiar with pearl milk tea. This is really just pearl milk. And then, oh wow, these pearls are just freshly made because there's actually still a little warmth. And I think I'm ready to take a sip. I am thirsty. So you gotta first shake it up. Shake it like you just don't care. All right, get all the sugary goodness mixed in with that milk. So it's got a nice little tan color. And I don't usually eat pearls, but the pearls here are just hard to pass up. Mm. They're so soft. That's good. They invented pearl tea in Taiwan, so you know they'll do a good job if you find the right place. 
Mm. Oh, such a good amount too. The mission continues. Let's go. Going for some sui jin ball. Sort of a pan fried bun. We're gonna get the Chinese chive version. Only 15 NT dollars each. All right, so we're still in Gongguan. So this is a sui jin ball, so it's kind of like a pan fried bun. So I got the Chinese chai version. Mm. So there's some green bean thread in there with the Chinese chive and some egg. So Chinese chive is a really strong flavor. So if you're not used to it, it might be new for you, but I kind of like it. So a lot of dumplings are made with chives. So you can also see the skin of this bao is so thin. And it's still holding everything together. Spicy is good for me. So I'm going to keep that in here. That's pretty good. Number 12. The countdown continues. Alright, so these, still in Gongguan, these are bean. So they're almost like pastries, but we got one which was daikon radish, so it's going to be savory, and one red bean which will be sweet. So I think this is the daikon radish. So you saw how they make them. They put the batter on the bottom, put the filling in, and then close it up, put a batter on top. So let's try the daikon one, I think. Mmm. Yep, so a savory taste. It's not bad, but I think the sweet one's gonna taste better. So let me try that. So this one will have red bean in it. I think there's some black sesame seeds on top. You can tell the crust is kind of crunchy. Oh. Oh, that's bursting with red bean. And that red bean is nice and sweet. Oh, I think they just finished making this one because it's still nice and warm. Look at that. The red bean is bursting out of here. Oh yeah, this one's better than the radish. We also have a custard cream as well. All right. Potato deep fried ball. Whoa. So however they fry it so that it's hollow inside, that's pretty amazing. I think they just keep pressing it. The air goes back in, pressing it. But this is a nice and crispy and chewy. Mm. Man, they do a pretty good job. I mean, this thing is hollow inside. Can you imagine? It's not too sweet, but it's got that sweet potato flavor. Oh, I could eat these as a great snack. Oh, that's pretty good. And that is number 14 in my mission. Let's keep going. All right, Mike's report in Taipei. Eating 20 foods challenge continues, and it brings us to Shilling Night Market. One important thing to note, to come to Shilling Night Market, you want to come to the Jin Tan MRT station, not the Shilling MRT station. Once you're at the station, you're going to exit number one for the Shilling Night Market. It's a very touristy market, but it's got a lot of food for us to eat, so let's go. 
All right, here we are in Shui Night Market. We're starting off with some ice, icy cold dessert. Take a look at this beauty, strawberry snow ice. So if you can see, this ice is just so finely shaved. It's really just like snow. So look at those fresh strawberries. I can really smell the aroma of the strawberries. And I think the shaved snow ice probably has some condensed milk in it. Mm. Because just the ice is really creamy on its own. But if I have it with the strawberry, This shaped ice is really creamy, so it's almost like ice cream. Let me have some of that with a strawberry. Mm. Taiwan is really good at shaped ice. Okay, the challenge continues. Oh, you got Oh, huh? Wow, so this is a pork wrapped green onion. Wow, that green onion is really. Oh, smells really good. Ooh. All right, I'm just gonna take a whole bite. Here we go. Oh, that's bursting with flavor. There were so many green onions in there. It's almost kind of spicy. And the meat is sweet and charred. Well, that's pretty good. Only $12, so that's a pretty good try. All right, that's number 16. Let's keep on going. All right, time to get some refreshing papaya milk. So papaya milk in Taiwan is pretty good stuff. This spot is actually a pretty nice one here in Shilling Night Market. Let's go. All right, I think this is item number 17. Papaya milk. The papaya in Taiwan is just so sweet and creamy. Oh, it makes a great milk. So they take fresh papaya, put in some milk, blend it all together. Essentially papaya milkshake. A good flavor. Oh man, Taiwan papaya is just so creamy. And it's not super sweet, but it's sweet enough. It just tastes so thick, creamy, oh, and refreshing. Oh yeah, and the challenge continues. One of my favorites. Number 18 food in Taipei, stinky tofu. So this location, their preparation is pretty unique to other places I've seen. They will fry the big piece, cut it into quarters, and then fry the quarters. So this is just fried all the way around, crispy all around. And again, I don't think stinky tofu is that stinky, but I think here, when they keep frying it, it really helps to temper the stinkiness even more. You gotta come to Shilling Night Market and try it out. So it's really close to a temple. So if you're facing the temple, it's to the right. Come and look for this place. They also have really good cold noodles. Also have hot sauce at the table. And of course, the pickled cabbage. Oh, I'm so ready. The crunch is amazing. The sauce here, probably some vinegar and garlic, also amazing. It's still crunchy because of all of that double fried goodness. Almost every time I come to Taiwan, I try to come to Shilling Night Market for at least a plate of this double fried sticky tofu. All right, so we're gonna finish off this plate, keep on going, and go to the end. 
All right, we are here. We're gonna have some yum yum fried chicken. <laughs> All right, fresh out of the fryer. So we had to wait a little bit, but here it is. So we're gonna go find a spot to show you what we got. Let's take a look. Ooh, that's a pretty nice piece of chicken. Ooh, smells good. So we ordered the spicy, so there's a little bit of spicy marinade in here. Maybe some peppercorn. Ooh, it smells really good. Oh, but look at how big this is. Oh, it's pretty hot, so compare it to the size of my face. So this is a chicken breast. Their batter looks really thick to put on there. And right, I'm ready to just go in and take a bite. Oh! Crispy! Mmm! So tender. Doesn't taste dry. And the batter is really crispy, not soggy. Can you hear that? I don't know. That's a big crunch. Taiwan has so many fried chicken places, and they all do a really good job. Look at how thick this piece of meat is, too. All right, so here is a sausage place at Shilly Night Market. So you can see them cooking it right there. So this is like the big rice sausage as the bun, and then the pork sausage as the meat. Here is our rice sausage wrapping a pork sausage. So I got the garlic flavor. Let's go. Freshly off the grill. Ooh, so it pop. The Taiwan sausage is nice, sweet, and savory. And then it has the garlic on top. I haven't even got to the rice part. Man, look at this line behind me. Mm. Oh, that rice sauce is actually really good. Nice, a little crisp, crispy. Has some texture, it's kind of chewy. That's pretty good. I'd say it's worth the wait. Here in front of the temple, Shilling Night Market. All right, pretty good. So guess what? That's item number 20. And it's only 8.30. So we just ate our 20 things in Taipei in less than 10 hours. Yeah, I'm pretty stuffed, but it was pretty delicious. The things I went to were really worth trying. And there's some other items I wasn't able to get to in this vlog, such as Hot Pot, such as the oyster pancakes, such as, oh, there's so many other things here, but for these 10 hours, 20 things worth trying if you have a chance to come to Taipei. If you missed part one, you can click here to watch it or follow the link below in the description. Well, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share it, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you in the next video.